don't panic. Xbox. Mate, I've written books and I've read them. I've read books that made the world burn and that made me fall in love with my own imagination. I've recorded albums and blagged so much I don't know who I am anymore. I've made people cry and I've made people laugh and I'm delightfully weird, at least in my eyes. I've stood on the shoulders of giants and consumed my own body weight several times over. I kneeled young and I knelt on John and now old Johnny's rotten. I read his words and sing his songs so Johnny's not forgotten. I've learned to distill the past and present and to try to change the future. I've fought the sword witch and lived to tell the tale. I've singed my own skin by burning the candle so brightly. Lived through 5,000 sunsets in the prisons and the flower pots and Birmingham is next to go. Chemicals from factories poisoning canals and I can't score a goal on FIFA but I live my life without a walkthrough so don't go sharing spoilers. I write poems that don't exist. Feederism. Hold on tight because when you see it, you bricks. Your whole world inverted and everything you thought you knew will change forever and you can't go back and start again. It's like losing money or smashing just because you want to smash There is no truth, just a popular perception that you happen to subscribe to. We are all energy condensed into shuffling atoms and you can rearrange and reinvent yourself if you put your mind to it. And time is just a construct to stop us from going crazy. There are more dimensions than we know about. Our thoughts and emotions based entirely on incorrect assumptions like working for the man when wired up to the matrix with the assumption that money buys freedom. We are free to live and die in solitude. We are free to sell our minds and bodies for wads of cotton and paper but when death comes and knocks and it ain't gonna matter in the end. All this shit clogging your arteries, a deep unkindness like when you don't know how to feel because no one ever wiggled the in your direction. This is for the acne-ridden teenagers, convinced they'll never get laid, the gay kings and queens who stand out by standing out. You will find someone and they will destroy you. Glastafarianism. Look at the French and the Dutch and the Danish who ride their bicycles in the faces of bomb squads. Terror kids tearing up capital cities just to watch the world burn. The curses of men who never lived and never died. The gods visible only in the actions of men who fight deluded holy wars while we laugh in the face of hate and celebrate the simple fact of life. Love and prosperity guaranteed to all is my kind of society. Girls talk sh** and boys talk sh and girls can drive buses and work on construction sites and boys can wear pink and shave their legs, chest and armpits and girls can kiss girls and boys can kiss boys and the gays are not a problem, it's the straight folk you want to worry about. It's like every form of creativity is inspired by the people you love, even if you only love yourself. Take this philosophy and run with it. Take up your pens and paintbrushes and stick them where the sun don't rhyme because all we are is all we are and you could do anything if you got off your ass and tried it. Anonymous is white mask of freedom. Regulators of the internet, you have been warned. We will not bow down to pressure or stand idly by while you bully our ISPs into submission, stunting the organic growth of the greatest repository of knowledge the world has ever seen. Tim Berners-Lee has every right to be angry. His great invention destroyed by government entities like Alan Turing's poisoned apple, depriving our anarchic world of the greatest minds of a generation. Mohandas Gandhi marching to war armed with DDoS attacks and security breaches. Loopholes in the code which lie in wait on Darknet servers proxied and clouded with secrecy where guns and drugs change hands on the open market. This is not our problem. We are righteous folk who live in peace and stylize the new world order with motion graphics and virtual reality. We write our wills on word processors and 10 Downing Street claims to have the right to see them but this is not 1984 and I am alive to show for it. So tell that to the kings and queens on their ivory thrones in ruined palaces. Information is the currency of love. Bits and bobs and petabytes whizzing through underwater pipes, panhandling along as they transmit wirelessly encircling the badlands which fight to halt its progress. The greatest invention since the Gutenberg press and they want to tear it apart and put it back together again. You feel the ache in your heart and mind when risky acronyms threaten to derail your whole career path. You feel unsafe in the knowledge of men with false agendas who sign edicts and ruin buildings to decide the world's future and I don't trust them. Give me pens and paper and distilled in invisible ink, sacred texts that don't shake the world but which reveal your inner secrets, stirrings for girls at open mic nights and the way your friends touch your arm and look different every day and still beautiful. Anonymous is white mask of freedom is a flag for the faithful to rally around. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter and the auditors are neither. They are the living conscience of the net which protects its best interests, sometimes breaking the law in the process. Our leaders do not lead us into greatness. They cripple our lines of communication 
information and riddle us with misinformation and I trust our hive mind more than anyone, man. You see, first there was IRC, which allowed specialist groups to form around a subject of their choice. Then came MSM, Windows, Live, BBM and the rise of Bebo and MySpace. So far, so good. Then the web hit its terrible teens and we signed up on mass to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat and WhatsApp. And now our fragmented entities are just stressful lives lived out in public. Mass hallucinations and delirium pulling us together and pushing us apart. Get f***ed up with the hooligans. We are the legion with the blood red pens and the jet black cats. Spider tats across our backs and Mr. Cage will see you now. We are writers united against the light. Beggars, rogues and thieves who deceive routinely. Evil beings you need to release to wander the streets of the world with their wings unfurled. We are the witches and warlocks. The creatures of sin and depravity born not unto gravity but forsaken. We are the mad and the stark, the clay in the dark and the cage in the park. We've got our eyes on the prize and it's time to decide whether to ride this train or to run away again. Playing the guitar with no hands. Music is the fuel that sets our hearts alight in the darkness of night when the light has died and all our friends have gone to bed and we're kept awake by the voices in our heads. It's deafening the shredded strings and the way they sing about things that mean something to them and to you and to me and I have become a chuckle brother. You can lift your spirits with meaningful lyrics or come to a stop with generic pop. The choice is pathetically yours. Don't fret, never ever fret. Just play your chords to loud applause. The thoughts you stored to explore before the hungry who only came to watch you die on stage again. Vultures and magpies, a lot of them, they forget that this is the end and not the beginning. Bonds. Rude dudes who punch you if you look at them funny. The ghosts of girlfriends pass when you sink the gin fast and tell her she's f***ing fantastic. Sam Buckley off his face on methamphetamine wearing his booze stained villa shirt like a badge of honour when they lost 4-0 in the FA Cup final. Smoking area is full of jokers and you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We talked about the bonds that bind us, the shiny faced who walk past with asses out trying to find a sneaky fix from the we used to live with. Mick Foley. Mick Foley with tax in his back slammed faster than Matt like a heart attack, attacked with a bat and a handicap match. Mick Foley fighting furiously, fearlessly pacing the ring in Madison Square Garden's turn of the century no holds barred pay per view. Mick Foley with his hand in the air like a vulture circling a battlefield. Then comes the choke slam through a table and 20,000 fans cannot be wrong. Mick Foley can smell what the rock is cooking, he's faulty, cultured, and bloody misunderstood. Mick Foley puts his socks on and wrestles to watch the world burn, drags a ladder from beneath the ring and gets ready to unleash chaos. GE Day Vote for love for the thin green line, the harboured hope like a solitary candle burning through the night, the simple supposition that people will listen to the system. The guns fell silent and 70 years on we're still dropping bombs and harnessing the atom because fear builds barriers and breaks down our inhibitions until we believe in the hype and get tricked by the lies when people died in opposition. Impeach the royal family, begin the trials, pitch them into the Thames to see if they float, behead the poor, don't ask questions, inequality for all. I'm a man with a plan to move to Amsterdam and the wheels are already in motion across the ocean. Vote for love or vote for fear. Vote for a proportional representation. Vote for a fair system where we all have our say before our free thinkers become drinkers and leavers. If Britain is only for the British, then I'm no longer British. Increasing the suicide rate by a fraction of a percent by cutting funding to the arts. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer and the nights get longer and the days get shorter and it's the thought that counts when you're underground and it's too late to walk the streets alone. If I won the lottery I'd be amazed and I'd raise the money we need to convince people to read and see meaning. If not in life then in words and if not in words then in dance or art or theatre. It's like no one remembers the 60s when they put flowers in the barrels of machine guns. I won't go to war for a cause I don't believe in. I try to live this life the way I want to as long as no one else gets hurt but that's not always possible. Aren't I? Artists anyway.